some of the gang. Smoke over towards Short. It's going to allow Marky to continue to accelerate up, and he's going to find a completely clear sight. You can see Incendiary in the hands of Demal to cancel. They do try and go for the bomb plant to fake out initially. Just see the flames come on over. Perhaps just holding on to them. All that retake. Oscar went there, went the way of Nouns through the smoke. They're saying aggressive, Marky, sitting very close to the smoke, and that one in towards elevator is isolating the fights, but it doesn't matter to Cold Zero. Two from the elevated angle, and now the rest of the support can start to come on through. Barton and Mal both hit theirs, and Carson in towards the ramp is getting swarmed by the CTs. Yeah, really nice from Legacy there in that retake, because for Nouns, it's really important just to note the timing of their utility, and we'll have to see how it really plays out. Most importantly, though, Legacy do grab the pistol. Vartan's getting in the face of Nouns and immediately has found Marky on the opener. Good space being taken over by B-Stairs as well. Nouns forced by, doesn't get off to the greatest of starts. Yeah, it's a bold choice to just go for that forward spot and just to drop on down, knowing that you're going to be up against the Galils. Cold Zero, just on the information gathering in towards me, was moving forward and the second kill doesn't go his way. Famas betrays him on the spray. CJ to King becomes very low. Demel tucked on through, did stick around and he's not cleared. One will be his. Already found a double in the round. Support can come on over. This round really rests on what Junior can accomplish with CJ to King's low health. Yeah, it's a bit rocky. You've got no sort of essence of control now if you're Nouns. You had the fight in towards mid that didn't really go your way. The only kill you've had was over towards B. Bartan holding for that boost up. CJ dropped. Oh, can just about go down. Yeah, they're fast after him though. You can see how quickly Lado is in pursuit. The bomb does go down. Junior able to get to a better angle. And he has two players running straight at him. Gets the first, but great spacing, spacing from Barton. Defuse will come through, but another bomb plant for Nouns. And almost... Hunting for sound cues more than anything with that piece of utility. Now the flash over, he only has to clear the left side. Cole going to be tested with the Famas again in mid this time. CJ still gets the best of him. That's going to make things troublesome now for Legacy. They have to fight in towards mid. Not ready for Dumal to be that closest George. And Dumal just keeps on swinging. He wants to fight. He knows that CJ is low. Mid cleared out. Only one way in for Nouns up B. Yeah, great response though from Nouns. They're very fast onto the side. Marky up close and a good swing. The flashbang blinds Junior, but it doesn't matter. He just sprays them both down as they line up. And this Nouns also giving Legacy a taste of their own medicine. As soon as utility comes through, it doesn't matter. They swing together. They guarantee trades. Putting yourself in good positions. Favors Junior. It's not the prettiest, and that flashbang is perfect. Marky sets up George. B has been really where Nouns have been putting a lot of their pressure early. And they're finding the success. Lato might be in for an AK, although Junior is already on the hunt, just wants to deny any sort of weaponry that can be brought forward. Time in. It's just horrible. The neck is, but also Cold Zero up close. Should be the trade when it just about is. So that's an AK at the very least. That's not too bad. You're right, though. The B bomb site, uh, pressure being applied early, and Nouns are waiting a lot to the mid round before engaging in some of those fights. Legacy has shown that they're quick to rotate and they're quick to respond, which is something that could be conditioned for Nouns as well. Carson can get in the mid round and just say, okay, well, we know they're rotating a little bit eagerly. This is something we can condition. This is something that we can punish. For Nouns, they've always been in the conversation when it comes to Vertigo. Very prominent map. CJ looks to be prominent in towards mid. First fight found on Neck is Cold Zero boosted as well. This is a difficult clear and a necessary trade, but CJ's ready for it. Five on three. Nouns look to assert dominance. CJ absolutely undoes them. And now there's that presence towards A. Oh, flashbang is good though. Set up for Demal. Lato quick on the trigger to Marky. Oh, that's Lato! Locks them out. One by one, they walk straight into him and he adjusts with precision. What well, started as a phenomenal opening for Nouns off the back of CJ's double is left to Carson to clutch at the pieces. Spots one crossing into elevator, but the bomb is even so difficult for him to get his hands onto. 
sprays wild and Demel capitalizes. Yeah, Lato or Lotto. He's got to be thanking his lucky stars. Honestly, they feel like a lock-in, but no, the round is not done until it's over, until you see it flash on the screen. Nouns win the round. Carson, aggressive. Utility fantastic from Junior. Setting up his rifle as well. He's got the AWP in the back lines. Cold Zero swinging, but it's George the punish. Again, another advantage here for Nouns as they scale up a ramp. Headshot comes to under the second kill as well. It couldn't quite find the follow-up bullet. Now Junior starts to have a look. We stop cool. Oh, never mind. That was the moment, and that's information. You now know two players are there. Junior, no issues hitting that flick. Now they can just collapse onto the bomb site. Bun is still here. And at the moment, it's a little bit open in towards shot. Smoke comes forward, all the util behind it. He's gonna throw that incendiary forward, and it is gonna get George. The low HP player went for the plant, which is, you gotta admit, a little risky on Vertigo, knowing that denial utility is so common. And there's a flank coming. It's late, though. Demel's going to arrive well after the bomb goes down. And Junior's holding it. Look, this is the perfect weapon for the job. Already off to a hot start and can't quite secure that one, but at least it means the rifles can come back in towards Gap, can take a peek down yellow and support. There is a kit and there is a smoke for Bartan. Looking up over the top and... Oh, Junior! What a shot! Martin barely gets to register that he's... Nouns as well. You called on it a few rounds ago. When was the pressure going to be applied over towards A? And this was very Route 1. It didn't have that element of Nouns poking and prodding in towards middle. It was all these players over towards the ramp. Junior, <laughs> it's time they're hoping for a better turn of fortunes. Mid, again, the priority. But this time it's aggressive from both Cold Zero and Neck is so easily able to overwhelm Junior. Can't get by Cold Zero on the angle. Three players in mid for Legacy. Vertigo in particular. Carson dealt with. Marky will be accounted for. See the positions being held from Guardian. I guess you want to keep this one clean. Sounds already off to a very strong T side. T side. Any damage is good damage, though. Even in a one versus five, but he's gonna not clear. Bartan elevated. Flashbang is perfect. Demel can't do anything, and because there's so many bodies here, they can respond quickly. Cold's under pressure. Two players above him, and he can't hit the no scope. Button does deal with the player towards the stairs, so he's got some freedom of movement, and he's able to get another. Pro CT is in towards their spawn. Neckers catches Carson as he comes back because Junior needed help alone with the bomb. A smoke forward gives him a passage but misses his no scope as well. And Legacy will tie things up. Good rotations there from Legacy. And Bartan ready to defend again. Spam, fantastic. Flashbang in and support is here. But it doesn't even need it. Bartan and Cold Zero combining. George coming around the corner towards default. But again, more players in Legacy funnel into this site until Carson steps up. Equalizing it two on two. Bomb needs to be recovered from back towards quad. Going to be planting it forward. HE off the mark. Does a bit of damage on the Carson. I was hoping someone's going to extend around off default, but it's not happening so far. And that's smoke. Going to make his position difficult. Kits on both players, Flash and Smoke. Flash is going to come on forward to set up the swing and it gives them some space to come on forward. Nekes knows where Carson is, just took down Lado, playing behind the double box and such low HP. Just looking for the headshot and Carson collects. What a round from him. Yeah, leading by example is Carson. Triple boost up A. Cold Zero looking over, but not finding a thing. But you have to be patient because everyone from Nouns is scaling up towards the ramp, and there's the bomb. Information that three players are in towards short. But Nouns committed, they have no space elsewhere. Marky, great shot, a follow-up as well. Flashbang's doing their work, and Damal still half-blind, dealt with. It's Marky's turn. Lado will get one back. Buttons working with a 5-7. Retake has to come forth, last round of the half, and they are Ford George with two nouns, with a lead at the half. Yeah, really well worked. 7-5 
It was perfect each other. The decision making was instantaneous. Oh, Ooh, and that okay. <laughs> was instantaneous as well. Lato immediately snapping the head off the shoulders. Now the cavalry needs to come in. That's a whole swarm. They're all coming over. Smoke four. There is a kit in play. So they can go for this retake. They can see you're staying active with that man advantage. A re-smoke as well is very powerful. It's going to give Barton angles to work with. And they got a flashbang. Retake smoke comes forward. This is about to be a bloody brawl on towards default. Flashbangs each ways and it's the tees that come out ahead. Barton with two to close it in Legacy with a pistol. I imagine we will see a lot more A presence. Sounds doubling up in mid. Even Carson's close by and George finds that open on Jamal. But at least he gets the intel. That means the Bartan can go back in, but it's still a one-on-one. -on -one. George on the corner now feels the pressure. He's thinking, okay, well, there's a rifler over here. I know there's an AWP. They're trapped in spawn. This is fine. I can just live. This isn't the bomb site. The T's are trying to take back T-spawn. George is in the back lines. That's not ideal. That's an overextension from CJ. You don't need to find the information at the moment. However, I'm a big fan of this. Marky Jr., at least they're grouping up together, but it's Cold Zero on the angle. In such a narrow margin, he jumps, but he doesn't get it. Junior's been given the opportunity, and Junior mows them all down. The triple threat over at B, but it's Junior that's the ultimate. They've got a lot of control for everywhere that isn't a bomb site. Don't mind this. However, you've got to be careful because Neck is. He's also creeping under the stairs. Will spot one, but won't be ready for the other one. Marky. Oh, he's playing it perfectly. Maybe a knife on the horizon instead. No, he's trying to beckon them into the bomb site. CJ with Lato as well. It's a player advantage still for Nouns, and Bartan's still in spawn. Finds the kill on the CJ. Long range duel. That's the bomb known and spotted and dealt with. Marky has been an absolute nuisance. It's got to be picked up. 10 seconds left. Marky, if he can take this one fight, he can win the round, but just getting around the corner at the last. Lado is pushing on forward. Junior on the other side. Lado quick. He's going to slink away through the smokes. Barton taking a duel over to B. Does give one back, putting it even. Legacy are pushing in towards middle. This is where a double up is. They're being active on every portion of the map, it feels. Trying to see if they can catch maybe some rotations from nouns. The rotations are here. The players are in the right place. Flash forward is great. Code had to read. The utility was better from Nouns. You've just got to stay alive. Sure, Dumal can try and make his way over, but you can't give him that opportunity. CJ will punish. Sure, Bombsite belongs to Legacy. That's fine. It's a four on two for Nouns. They can retake. And Lado's got no health. They've got no flashbangs or anything to set any of these players up. And codes over the top. Patience from Nouns should be enough. I guess this would be something special. And he gets two at the very least. Keeps it costly. But now I'm... You need to push on A. You've got double incendiaries to deny. There's so much utility available to the CTs. Junior just gets the fight. Lado is ahead of the smoke. It's actually not one on the left side. They're wanting to take fights. And it meets the orc. Four goes Nekez. Coldzero does get the trade. And he needs more. Demal's helped out with one as well. And Barton, he's on a flank. Marky's heard it. Marky's got this for sure, so it's going to keep things even. Bomb down, and Junior deletes Cold Zero after he gets off the plant. Zamal, with barely a slither of health, tucks in towards the sandbags. There's no kit. Unless there's one on the site, there, there's no kits. There's a smoke, though. That can come forward. You can stick Junior on the bomb. Zamal, will he believe in the fake? Oh, swings out, finds Junior. Kit recovered, and that's something. Jamal playing around the sandbags, wasting time. Desperately fighting, but Marky will find his mark. And he has time for the DVs. Oh, breathe. Take a sigh of relief. If you're now, honestly, take a tactical pause. Because that gets really too close for comfort. And that's another example of letting Legacy back in... Open to get Nouns alongside with him as he peeks and he spots, but it's Marky with the killing blow onto Cold Zero, who's a legacy player in himself. This is the highest performer for the squad on this map. Removed. Two players spotted for Neckers. 
Looking for the headshot and he finds them. The George knows the Marky's position is over to the left, but jumps into a position where he had no way to really fight forward. Damal just walks out in towards mid and is felled by Carson. And this feels... They're buddied up, ready to defend. Just two players here, so there is a chance that Legacy could get through and onto the site. HG Ford can't find the headshot onto Carson. And Barton, no chance. Marky from the lower angle, able to deal with him. Nouns, find map point. Nouns know that attack is going to come on this side of the map. They've got information on ramp. George goes for an investigation, finds his kill into Damal, who's been struggling in towards middle. And a last barrel in towards B. Incendiary goes forward. The flashbang is fantastic. Marky collects both, locking them out. Ready to take Vertigo all by himself. It feels like Cold Zero. But the Tech Nine over the top can't do a single thing. Four for Marky. And now take Vertigo. As well by Carson. He's got the space. Also, George tried to run back and be very audible to bait them into this setup. It hasn't happened. Legacy still got the control, but ultimately, Junior is still out towards long toilets. Gets the whiff of info. CJ falls on the bomb site. George has to stay alive because there's a flank coming in. Getting run down, but does get away. Gush under the head of Marky, and he's run down by Neckers. George is still here, and he doesn't even realize that Neckers is behind him. Barton from Long finds his and Carson is left clutching his dual Berettas, wondering where his team has gone. Not only clutching the dual Berettas, but having to try and clutch up the round, but can't even get past the first. Lato locks it in. And for Legacy, that was a simple walk on towards the A bomb site. Now so that's just going to keep Nouns interested. And I really like this from Legacy. They're, they're oh. doing what they're supposed to do. Long range gunfights, Bartan. That's a swift clothesline on towards Junior. Rotations are scurrying up just as the hit comes in. They're here in time. Yeah, CJ, he's actually going to move way far forward. George has walked through a smoke. Two elements unknown, and Carson's position is fantastic. George gets his. Carson swings around for one as well. Needs to follow up with the Neckers. Can't quite convert. Marky arrives at the scene. Three players to find, and his position is being covered. Smoke at the moment, veiling his approach. There's just no way out here. The crossfire should be enough. Nekes is providing some distraction, but he's getting a shot in the back by Barton. Uh, Nouns. 5-1 already on this T side. It looks incredibly promising for a map that has been defined by defenses. Dumao, Bartan accelerating this time. Normally, it's just Dumao. But well, George gets the better of him, but he's being pincered. Neck is not ready. That communication surely lacking, surely not there. Yeah, he is really on his own here. And he's trapped in a world of hurt. Look as he goes around this corner. Well, in fact, he didn't get spotted. Flashbang, not good enough. Juno will at least find one. And now it's up to the riflers to survive because George is on this flank. Tucks in behind the truck is Carson. Bartan starts to go. Oh, and he does deliver spectacularly. Nade through, doesn't blow open the smoke. But Marky staying alive buys all the time in the world. The fake plan undoes everything. And Nouns will grab the second. Legacy without a plan. Surprising they go for a fake plan with 10 seconds left. Nice shot from Cold. George, it's just going to come through the ground that they have cleared. They check out towards Long, see nothing. And he's going to have two kills on a planet. Gets the first, flicks over to Cold Zero. This is his jungle. Bomb being planted over towards the truck and George flanked eventually and the neck is able to find him and even doubling up. Junior quick on the shot. This becomes a 1v1. First tap comes on through. Ladder is close, waiting for the swing. Doesn't believe it and it's a miss from Junior that gets... Now we'll start to come on forward. Neck is over the top. Oh, George. Not a nice position. Still able to get one before he goes. More than you expect from that spot. It's an even split, but it relies on Junior hitting this shot over towards top connector on Zoom out. I really don't like Cole being alone with the bomb. Junior hits the shot. Better. Smoke deployed. Lato will be on him. The hit coming through from Long going to be distracting. 20 seconds, time is going to be an issue. Junior behind default. Has some space to work with. Flash forward Molotov and he finds his mark under Cold Zero. Junior finally arriving on overpass. Lado is going to fight one back. They're sticking the bomb. They're finding the space. CJ, I think he denied it. Finds the second as well. And now let's get their third. Yeah, and that's 
really what now's needed. So you're going to walk back into it. But when do you disengage? Carson spots the shadow and he is able to get the headshot. And now George will walk forward. Starts to peer on in. Oh dear. Barton jumps over his bullets. The dink at least makes it difficult for Barton into this round, but it is a four on four. Could have been a five on three. Now it's just Junior over here. Carson is in towards heaven, so he can rotate up quickly in time. Again, Legacy are letting the clock tick on down. Would be an issue. Junior looking to disrupt, peering on through. Cole misses his shot, just the leg. Barton at least is there for the trade. Time. 10 seconds, you got to get in. Carson just holding the door and potentially trying to slam it shut. Utility over, denies Lato the bomb, and that's the round done and dusted. Now's at least find four. No time to plant this bomb. Legacy, they're the mistakes that they're making. To be in the major, run boost over, that's not spotted. Oh, and Bartan delivers yet again. Dumao up close, it's double terror with the dual Berettas. Nekis takes a dink, but ultimately, they're fighting straight into Legacy's hands. Dumao is completely churning them up and spitting them out in the face of Monster. Marky fights back, not once, but twice. Bomb secured, but would need the full house. Dumao's just dancing, firing off shots. Plenty of bullets in the chamber. Okay, he's not being given much to fight with. Cold Zero eventually takes him down. Legacy with yet another pistol round. I like this. You also just dropped all those nades you mentioned. Oh, just to kind of give the idea that no one's here. In fact, it's everyone. Lato Cold Zero. It's a delayed totem pole of death, but it's the MP9 that collects two. And now Nouns are scrambling. CJ and Khan, Marky, all the way back in spawn, so disconnected from themselves and from the bomb. And Legacy, just disengage. Yeah, you can just leave cold, locking off the angle right. He's got the orb, he knows where the bomb is, can just keep an eye on it. Although he starts to feel the pressure because they don't have any space in towards the rest of A. Legacy are playing this so controlled, considering they've got such a massive advantage. Those advantages can slip, slip away. And would ruin the, the hopes and dreams of CJ, but if Marky plants, that's okay. But Legacy have figured this out ultimately. 10 seconds, got to cross onto the bomb. You got to be quite vocal. Plant down. CJ's the one holding it. There's oh, the oh. nades. Okay. Almost takes out Barton. That's worrying. That could have been a way back in. Marky has to do it all though, and he can't find the first amount. Jiggling on the corner is going to take him down. Bomb planted is something for nouns, but they need more. And they don't want to fall at the first opportunity. Lato on towards Marky is a fantastic start for the Brazilians. Sounds. Bartan has to be careful. Flashbang on over, Carson. I feel like he had a good timing there to find something. But the counter utility from the CT is now Bartan's position. No, CJ did not clear him. Eventually wins that fight out. Junior with the bomb is stuck in towards jail. And a known entity. Might be able to get out, in fact. With George coming through, group back up. Still a difficult 2v4. They've got a single Molotov between them. And everyone comes down to reinforce. They've got this sole player holding, if they come back up, connect us. They have three players on B. A smoke collected. It's going to smoke off heaven, but no one was there anyway. It's a double up in towards water. George needs to fight forward, needs to find these kills. The first is his, but a great trade. And Lato is there for the final kill legacy, finding map point. Yeah, well done there. Because again, in, in these positions, it can quickly fall out of favor. Yet, Carson now posting on the angle, looking to see if he can catch them. But Cold Zero, a master of jumping, able to elude. Now picking onto the angle, getting a few opportunities. Lato will eventually take it into his own hands to find that opening kill. Continuing to be supported by these flashbangs. It's like every two seconds, one just blows up in the server. Oh. That's the bomb. Speaking of flashbangs, there's nothing here at all for Nouns. They're going to go out with a whimper. Bomb dropped on the floor, signified the intent of the round. Cold Zero, one bullet left in the magazine. One bullet would only be needed to take out one of these two remaining players. Could be caught on a time in here, and he is. Marky overwhelms with a headshot. Nekis, Bartan, step in. 
And Marky needs to step up like he did on Vertigo, but not this time on Overpass. A deciding map needed between these two sides. In the perfect position to wield them as well. Four T's about to walk into the crosshair of Cole, and he finds the first quick trade. Barton's there, though. Ascends the stairs and sends George into a deep descent. Mekez trying to find one as CJ jumps out. A lot of damage done, but no kill. Barton, though, is so sharp right now. Carson trying to swarm him through when Barton is doing everything himself. CJ hits the shot. That's me enough to allow the bomb to go through. A, a valuable commodity. But an incredibly difficult clutch to Mao with the second set of duelies deals with him. Yeah, unfortunate there for CJ. Tried his best, does get the bomb down despite the low HP. Navigated that apartment setup. She needs to move forward. Moto Smoke coming on through, but there's three players here. Two towards both pits. George swinging on through though and knocks Barton down. Cold Zero can't fight back. And it's Neck is in the side. The only defender good for one, but then done. Creating a tunnel and isolating these players on pit that could not do a thing. Now, this could be a devastating position. The flames go below. He's above and has an open angle to fight, but he can't convert his spray. CJ and George demolish the defense, and George is not done yet, charging out towards long. Smoke lands on through. Everyone is here on the A side. Jamal is waiting for the moment to come on through. Barton has hit two incredible digs. And suddenly it starts to fall apart. Carson looking for anything. Blindsided by Cold Zero in the pit and Junior can't even escape. And that's Legacy. Punishing Nouns as they fall on their sword. Gets, gets a whiff, drops the incendiary. We're going for an apps pop. Barton on the position, Cold Zero falling into the pit. He's a chair, needs to clear the angles. They just line up for Bartel. It's all too simple for him. And Cold Zero just gets baited in absolutely perfectly. Junior, last man standing in the for Junior as he tries to clear every single nook and cranny on the bomb site. But it's such a difficult task. First objective, Lato clears him, but doesn't secure the kill. Legacy find a third, finally breaking that economy. Redeem some of that faith and belief instilled in them by the community. But this one not working out as expected. Good find by Carson ahead of all of the mollies. But it's the nade that ultimately will finish him off. Lato screams for support, and he'll get it in the form of Nekes. Utility comes here at the right time. Nouns pause a little bit on their attack. It's given Lato time to call in that reinforcement. Nekes starts to scale in two, and Lato crosses. Nekes finds the kill. And now you're not going to be ready for this reposition. He snuck all the way around. Between him and Nekes, they have slowed this down completely. Despite the fantastic opener from Carson, it sadly amounts to nothing. And without these bomb plants, it's a constant yo-yo of one AK buy, one Tech-9. And now you're just being thrown straight into the gauntlet. They're ready, waiting at the door, and they're slamming it shut in your face. That is a fast round of CS2 from Legacy. Not quite able to swing quick enough to find the kill, but the Molotov does plenty of damage. Buttons not feeling comfortable, and that HG was beautiful. What a combination. Button doesn't get to see an opponent, and Marky finds another. Force forward at all, oh, it doesn't matter. Marky is on one. The A bomb site is his. Lado might be able to catch timing on the CJ, and he does so. Well, Do it's really useful. But a really good take. It's clear that Nails want to exploit Legacy's control over towards short. Here is Lato. And he will find two. Deny the AWP at the very least. Grab the game by the scruff of the neck. We saw it on Vertigo. It was Marky. And now he's trying to be the driving force for his team. Here is that utility. A boost over the top. Neck is. Doesn't get punished by Carson, and the molly didn't spread towards the back. So Dumao is there the entire time. Currently looking at Shaw. Oh, he is going to find the timing. Button is holding it. Okay, so there is there is something, but no. That's so free for Marky. It's just as Button went to throw a flash as well. Falls off the line, and it's exploited. Nekes has rotated in, but he's getting blinded. Button need to step up, couldn't get it done. Nekes runs out of bullets. Now, George is on one HP. Picks up the AWP from Cold's body. Still warm on the ground. 
And you know this retake's coming on through. George is a known entity to be low, surely. That is going to flank around, but that orb holding the angle is going to be difficult to dislodge. Has to swing it. No, just going to be walking up through the apartment. So flanking on in. Time. Oh, he's being loud. Oh, the Molotov. That's going to kill George. Doesn't even really get the fire. Lato's bullets, in fact, get it done, but Junior can still clutch it up. Tucked in towards the back of the site. Lato swings and sadly denied. Aware. So aware. Barton tries to peek around the angle, but he was a known entity and he's dealt with. Cold Zero left completely alone here on A. Will pass the first test in Carson, drops the incendiary and falls back. And now we've got this fight in towards top middle. Legacy want info. And Marky might just punish them in the back. Yeah, he's going to walk out through apartments and he's going to catch a perfect timing. But Lado finds George and a second as well. Neck is supporting with the flashbang and the bullets. Marky's lurk felt like it was perfect. CJ swung on from two elevated angles. Look at this, another variation. It's the nades that go in towards the middle of Banana. It's the apartment setup. Cole Zero has been so dynamic, and Carson, he's trapped. Mal locks him in. Trade is great, though, but Lato supports from the top of Banana. Bedroom As doesn't see anything. Boost up for Lato. The smoke doesn't go onto his position. Not the meta smoke that covers everything, so he's given a fine line to fight onto Marky. And swings on through. He's not done, Lato. Absolutely destroys Nouns. Run round 12. It's almost two kills per round. Cold Zero finally finds the opener that he's been looking for with that orb, but it feels like every single round. Legacy have got everything, and Nouns are just pinched in. Forced into the stack. Carson's going to walk straight into Ladder, who is everywhere right now. The bane of Nouns. But the hero of Legacy. Now let's take a pause. Ladder, it's a peek around, doesn't see anything, so they are going to rotate. Oh, this is just so rough to watch. Legacy are playing this so perfectly. Nouns are forced to just go back and do the fundamentals, but take a look at this. Marky has taken a liberty. He's pushed towards long. He hears that rotation. And now if they crunch on towards this A bomb site, it's still going to be tricky. You've got Cold Zero in pit. You've got a player boost up on the balcony. Cold Zero will just hold down the line. At least Bartan has fallen in terms of nouns. And now for Cold Zero, he needs to hold on. 18 seconds left. He's feeling trapped. He's feeling isolated. But Lato provides some temporary oh. rest by Junior jumping, trying to get his team back into the fight, but he can't do it. It's Legacy with 10. Hey! It's deja vu on the server. Another South American team. Which way do you want to show face? Whoa, aggression. This is fun. Down towards mid. It's been heard. Oh, Marky spotted, dealt with. And the flashbang cold sets them up. And he might have just done the killing blow, but no, there's a hope for a moment. CJ gets one. And what can George do? Legacy's pistols have devastated nouns time and time again. A glaring hole. And what started it as such a strong series for them with Vertigo, the punished pick against Legacy. Looking controlled by Nouns. Here they're playing Legacy's game and Legacy are having no issues. So impressed by just the no! calling of Mechas. It's just the awareness of this team as well. Five sevens enter the server. Despair begins to creep across the players of Nouns, but Junior is trying to be that outlet. He's in the major. Legacy finds series point. Junior peeks on forward, takes the aggressive angle, finds his second in the round. Feeling the pressure, wanted more, and he's dealt with. A swing though comes through from short. Marky gets one. Damal spraying on through. Carson finds the critical kill, and it's Damal. Looking for more, but Carson with the double keeps Nouns alive. CJ starts to move over. This is a hit on towards A. Junior with that orb needs to come up good. First kill is his. Falls back onto the line. He is looking for more. They have not been able to break through. Marky's got apartments locked on down. Brought down low though. And so Junior has to continue. Eventually put down and it's Lato. Of course it's Lato who breaks back in. Bomb to be planted. 
and a retake required. Difficult, but still achievable. Incendiary kits available. Both of these players immediately rotate in quite quickly. Powerful setup though with this crossfire. Nows have to breach it. Lado is so incredibly low. Incendiary is going to at least deny info in one position, but Lado, he just can't be tamed. Ducks on down, allows Cold Zero to swing in Legacy. They find what? series point. Really smart there from Cold Zero. He doesn't. They're going to try and do the economic damage here. Junior oh. feels like he's hitting absolutely everything. Cold Zero wants to level him. The only space they've got isn't towards Banana. A boost up for the AWP. They're just trying everything to get a kill. And Cold Zero can't hit the shot. There is Carson, but an immediate trade out of Bartan. That's a right for the Gimme. Pass on over. Pistols are brought into this fight. Smoke is going to slow them. It was just the two save rifles and then a couple of upgraded pistols. You know they've been rotating as well if you're nouns. Every single time there's presence banana, it's never been the commitment. Nearly a collateral instead. Junior posts on his favorite angle as Marky finishes the job onto Bartan. Lato has been phenomenal, but it's Junior. They could be limit testing the defense. Yeah, just putting the pace on. Lado boosted, the smoke giving space, and he finds the opener. Flames and bullets prevail. HE being set up in response, but it's not going to hit the mark. They're already falling back off the back of it. But look at Marky. Marky's already pushing towards second mid. Junior's trying to hold this line as well. Marky's in such a good spot, but he is on his own. Junior can't support. Marky goes around the corner, spots out one, and swings wide into the mall. Why? Doesn't need it. Junior doesn't either. He runs back. He's the only one on A. There is a push coming down Banana. They're resetting. Look at this. Look at Lato. He's in the back lines. He's expecting it. CJ with the backstab, but Lato's with his. George is holding, but it's Lato. CJ finds one pushing through, but he's not going to be expecting the other. Looking for Lato, gets the kill. And it's all on to Junior. They know where he was. They saw him in the apartments. But a half by. Legacy brought... Barely anything into this round, and they might just leave with the Major still a dream alive for them. Junior has to go all the way around. He has done everything for Nouns in this resilient comeback on the CT side, but it might just fall short here. So many positions he has to clear. Time slowly running down, Cold Zero next to the box that gives his namesake. Shot fires out, doesn't find the kill, gets it with the dual Berettas, the spin, and maybe there's a chance, but no, Barton's Deagle confirms it. Legacy stay alive, and now, sadly, are eliminated. Yeah,